right, Pisces, it's time to do our daily energy check. We'll find out what messages spirits have for you. Just Pisces need to know spirits. Okay, one more shuffle, Pisces. Okay. What does Pisces need to know, spirits? Okay, Pisces, we're starting off here with the Queen of Pentacles. I feel like this is the energy you're in right now. Very loving, giving, kind. You could be a mother. This is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. What does Pisces need to know, spirits? And then I have the Seven of Swords. This can be someone lying, cheating, stealing, or this could just simply be you picking up, moving on. Picking up what you can, moving on. And I see things moving very quickly with the Eight of Wands. Very fast energy. This could be messages from someone. But we'll find out after we clarify. The sun is coming in, Pisces. The happiest card in the tarot deck. Leo energy. And then in the center of this reading, I feel like there's something here that you're waiting for. Does Pisces need to know? But something's moving very quickly here towards the sun, which is great happiness. It's the yes card. We have the ten of cups, complete happiness, emotional fulfillment, happy home, happy family, and the magician fell out with this. I feel like you're manifesting this. You could be waiting for something here. Okay, so we have the Ten of Pentacles. This could be a blended family. This is also, could be unexpected money. Things are moving very quickly towards a connection with someone. We have the Two of Cups. Okay, so let's clarify the Queen of Pentacles up here. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? The King of Pentacles, the King and the Queen of Pentacles, two people that are meant to be together and a message coming in. This is an emotional message. This is the Two of Cups right here. This is two people meant to be together. This is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, but it doesn't have to be. And the Knight of Cups is telling me there's a message coming from someone and then we have the seven of swords <laughs> why is the seven of swords here There could be arguments with someone. There's some type of conflict here, Pisces. We have the Five of Wands. I feel like there's... 
for some of you, I'm getting there's there's an inner conflict here and a sense of sadness. But we'll find out if this is you or someone else. But someone's feeling sad here in the Five of Cups energy. Focused on the past. And then I have the Six of Pentacles. So I'm seeing you giving to other people. I see things moving very quickly with the Eight of Wands. Why is the Eight of Wands here? We have the Queen of Swords, the Death card, and the Two of Wands. There's messages you'll be getting from someone. This is Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. The Queen of Swords. But I'm seeing someone sending you messages here, Pisces. And it has to do with an ending with the Death card. This is Scorpio energy. I kind of feel like someone feels like they're making a head over heart decision over this ending because they're kind of taking a pause here, standing at a crossroads in their life, trying to choose a new path. But someone, someone's making a head over heart decision in the Queen of Swords energy. Okay, so let's clarify the sun. Why is the sun here, spirits? The Ten of Wands. This reading is going to be similar to yesterday, Pisces. Male or female, this Queen of Wands, it's just the energy there. It's The gender doesn't matter. But um, I'm seeing a message coming in from someone who feels like they're carrying around a heavy burden right now. And then we have the Four of Cups. This is someone who refused your cup of love they might have ghosted you this is a ghosting card but they're coming back wanting to heal this connection they see you as their happiness i'm also seeing healing there's a pisces who doesn't feel good and there's healing here if you're if you're not feeling good and we have the Seven of Pentacles. This is waiting. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? I feel like you're waiting for something, Pisces. We have the King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. The Queen of Wands. And the Ace of Wands. This King of Cups, this is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. This is someone that you have a lot of love for. This person has a lot of love for you, but they're not outwardly showing it. They're very attracted to you in this Queen of Wands energy. This is someone who has a lot of passion for you. And they're wanting this new passionate beginning with the Ace of Wands showing up here. Which brings us to the Ten of Cups and the Magician. Why is the Ten of Cups here? Why is the Ten of Cups here? I 
I see someone here like guarded up Pisces in the Seven of Wands energy. They're feeling defensive and guarded. And this could be um, they're feeling a lack of money right now at this time. There's blocked communication here. They're feeling this pain, this Three of Swords energy. This is not you. This is someone else. They're feeling brokenhearted. Sorry about that, Pisces. My daughter's dogs are wrestling out in the hallway. And then I have the Magician. Why is the Magician here? It's too many. Why is the Magician here? Somebody's manifesting this, Pisces. I have judgment showing up, raising something from the dead. This person's trying to manifest to you. They want this new beginning in love with you. This could be a blended family with, with the Ten of Pentacles here. But they're confused here. Because with the Three of Swords there and blocked communication and them refusing your love, it's like they don't know how to return now. And so they're feeling blindfolded about this. For some of you, this is a blended family. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? This person watches you. This is someone trying to gather information because they're feeling blindfolded about where you're at in your life, what you're doing. Nine of Swords. This is heavy energy. This is someone who's really, really up in their head, thinking and thinking and thinking, they repeating thoughts about this connection with you. Why is the Two of Cups here? I have the Empress, the Hierophant. This is a committed relationship. There could be children involved here. This is a committed relationship. This person is very attracted to you. Your energy is every queen in one in the tarot deck. This person realizes that. That's They see you. They're very passionate about you. And this is someone that you were in a committed relationship with. This could be a Taurus. And this, this person could be drinking a lot right now. And then we have the chariot showing up, cancer energy, things moving quickly. Why is the chariot here? The chariot's here because I have the knight of wands too. This person's going to show up, Pisces. The Knight of Wands, it's text messages, internet messages. It's a very nice looking person. The Temperance, this is a reconciliation again. It's what they're coming with. They want to reconcile with you. This is Sagittarius energy. Yeah, messages, Seven of Cups messages coming in and then we have the devil capricorn energy on the bottom of the deck this could be someone who has an addiction some type of an addiction but this person 
They're looking at things differently now from a different perspective, a different point of view. It's like this is someone who's willing to fight for this connection. And they want a new start with you with the Page of Cups. This could be someone younger than you, but it doesn't have to be. And I see this person going from being stuck in this Eight of Swords energy. This is being stuck. The, the Wheel of Fortune's turning. This energy is changing. I'm seeing the universe maybe bringing this back around again for some Pisces. There's truth coming in. This is Libra energy with the Justice card. You could be dealing with any sign, Pisces. I'm just telling you the ones that are very significant that are standing out here in this reading. Let me shuffle the cards. Spirits, what does Pisces need to know regarding this reading? What does Pisces need to know, Spirits? Emotions are running high. Emotions will be running high. In the center of this reading, I have the Ace of Wands. This is good news coming in. This is a new start. This is a general reading, so take what applies and leave the rest of Pisces. Okay, so we have hold your vision. And your dreams need a practical plan. And bring love into the situation. It's time to bring love into the situation. The end of a tough cycle approaches. It's really significant here is the Ace of Wands being in the center of this reading. This is like exciting news coming in. And let me grab a couple of these angel oracle cards. Ask a question, Pisces. One more shuffle. Spirits, what does Pisces need to know? Okay. See if we can get an answer for you, Pisces. I have the situation will improve. And let's just get one more. Communicate clearly. And on the bottom of the deck, there's a great opportunity coming, coming in. Okay, so we're going to do something, I just want to do this one more thing for you so you can get more clarification on your particular situation. I'm going to shuffle these cards, get the energy going through them. One more shuffle, Pisces. Okay. Let me see if you, yep, you can see those. Okay. I'm going to put this stone here. The 
rosary here. And this card here. Okay, Pisces. Pick a deck. So that we can aim in closer on you. Particularly particular situation choose one of these decks I'm going to um, lift up a card for each for each one spirits what does Pisces need to know okay spirits Okay, if you picked this one with the rock, with the stone, healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So we have healing family issues and release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. And then if you pick this second pile here with the rosary. Getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. And let's get one more. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. And this third pile with this card on it. Calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. And attraction, you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. And let me just grab you guys one of these oracle cards. What does Pisces need to know, spirits? Happiness. The sun is coming in. I think we had this last night too. And pleasure. So there's happiness, pleasure. Community and trust. There's butterflies here. Things are changing. I see the rainbow. And there's potential, there's great potential on the bottom of the deck. Okay. And then I want to see if I can see Mystic. So you guys can see Mystic. Mystic, here, kitty, 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 Mystic. Mystic, here, kitty, 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 kitty. Come here, Mystic. Come here. Come here. <laughs> Come here. Come here, Mystic. Come here. Okay. There's Mystic. Here, Mystic, look up here and say hi to Pisces. I just want your face to show up. There she is, Pisces. She's being a busybody. She just ate her tuna.
Okay. You want to get down? And there she goes. All right, Pisces, I send you lots of love and light, and I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste.